This presentation of The Beer Next Door is brought to you by Town Square Media and Keeler in the Morning on WIBX 950 AM. In 1993, when we opened in Troy, New York, we were the 21st brewery to operate in the city of Troy. However, the, the city had not seen a brewery since uh, 1963. It was a kind of a reintroduction of craft back then and just reintroducing them to beer that had flavor. About 20 years ago, I started bartending and we had a bar that had 27 beers on tap, which almost 20 years ago was a real anomaly. And in order to fill all those draft lines, you really relied on a lot of import brands like Dos Equis and Stella and Guinness, Newcastle. Uh, many, many others that uh, have kind of taken a back seat to craft now that American companies are making such variety. I started going out to Colorado in my 20s to ski, and that's kind of where the whole microbrew craft beer started, and I loved it, and I couldn't get it on the East Coast, so now that it's available so much more easily, I just, it's great. Last year, um, uh, when I was in Denver uh, at the Craft Brewers Conference, they put up the top five states for growth in 2014, and we were number two in the country with 67 brewery openings last year alone. Hi, I'm Christine Bellino. Welcome to the Beer Next Door Craft Beer. It is beer that could be brewed by your neighbors or even by you. It is beer that is infused with and brewed with the personality of the people who make it. The local spirit of Old Forge and the stories behind the Fulton Chain of Lakes are the main reason Fulton Chain Craft Brewery co-founders Richard Mathy and Justin Saskowitz decided on Old Forge as the location to open their craft brewery and tasting room. They started their journey to open the brewery a little more than a year ago. It was a short trip, but like the waterways of the Adirondacks, it has been full of twists, turns, and surprises. Uh, so Rich and I met camping up at uh, Racket Lake, it's a little farther north. Um, so we were both camping with our families and he was, you know, hanging out with his friends, I was hanging out with my friends. We happened to walk by, saw each other, started talking, you know, hung out for the weekend. Camping ended, we all went our separate ways. Next year we all go camping again without talking to each other, end up camping in the same place, same time. So we're like, well, we should probably just hang out for the, for the weekend again and, you know, party. And this happened for a few years, and then after that, we were like, well, we should probably just become friends. The day that we decided we were actually going to open the brewery, we found a canoe upside down in the woods uh, next to a lake. And we had hiked all the way back to this lake, and, you know, I kind of looked over at the canoe, and I was like, whoa, there's a canoe. So before Rich could even say anything, I already had the canoe flipped over, and I was in the water, like, waiting for him to jump in. So we took this canoe, paddled around the lake, and we basically talked about, you know, is it plausible to do a brewery up in Old Forge? Like, is this something that we should, we should jump on? And uh, the whole time we were canoeing, we kept saying, adventure canoe. That canoe kind of spawned this business. When Justin and I were talking about starting a brewery, Justin pitched the idea of Old Forge and we started looking around and like, wow, yeah, you know, this is really a place that would work. A lot of people go on vacation, a lot of people want to kick back. When they go up to a town like Old Forge, they want to know what's local. People really want to know what's from the region. They want to be able to sit back and drink a beer from the, their vacation town, uh, not something they can get down at the grocery store and get any day of the week. Justin and Rich set out to raise money for the Fulton Chain Brewery in August 2014 with a Kickstarter campaign. And through the online fundraising website, they found a supportive community that succeeded in getting the project off the ground. The Kickstarter was huge, not only that like we got initial funding, but it was kind of one of those things that like once the Kickstarter succeeded, um, you know, you, you felt like, all right, it's, it's game time, we actually have to do this. Uh, it would have been, it would have been terrible if the Kickstarter failed, and like who knows if we would have ever opened a brewery if we didn't get this Kickstarter. So like all these people that kind of took a leap of faith on us, like as soon as that day happened, I was like, well, Rich, no turning back now. The two settled on a location, a building that housed a former bowling alley among other businesses before it was closed and lay vacant for several years. They completely rebuilt the interior for the brewery and the tasting room and installed all the equipment. And while they were physically ready to open, there was one detail that stopped them. They didn't have a permit. We filed the state probably two, two and a half months ago. Um, we expected it to take anywhere, well, we heard stories anywhere from people getting it in three weeks to people getting it in six months. You know, we were kind of hoping that two months would be enough. Oh. According to New York State, it's just the normal wait time to get a license. 
Uh, but to us, it's you know kind of an inconvenience because summer's coming up real quick. Uh, we filed our license and we've been patiently waiting, um, but we just, you know. Memorial Day came and went and the completed brewery sat still and quiet without any beer production. Uh, we haven't had a chance to use it yet. Uh, New York State license specifically says that we can't brew anything on site. Uh, since it's a commercial space, we're not allowed to use it until we have a license in hand. Holiday weekend like July 4th is a busy one in Old Forge, and if you own a business here, this is definitely a weekend you want to be open. Justin and Rich were worried about opening up. Not only are they open, but it's a full house. You surprised at this? It's 4th of July, so I, you know, being our first time, I don't know if this is a good 4th of July. This, is, this could be a slow 4th of July for all we know. But um, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm thrown back. I'm kind of like, kind of humbled by the fact that people coming in. We got tons of recipes that we want to just keep releasing. Like we got seasonals, you know. Yeah, we got like a pumpkin ale that we're going to do for the fall. All of our beers at the moment are actually, they're about 85% New York State grown products. Uh, all the hops are 100% New York State. Uh, the two things that are awesome that have happened are when people come in that we don't know, that means that like either someone told them about it or they like, you know, heard about it this, this way or that way. So to see people that we don't know showing up is awesome and then return customers are awesome. We must be making all right beer if people keep showing up to drink it. 